generosity. It's not just about money. Quick, without thinking, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you say the word generosity? If your mind immediately went to money, you would be in the majority. We all recognize the value of being generous with our money and resources for the good of those around us, and that's a great practice to cultivate. But how can we teach kids about generosity when they don't have much to give financially? We should model financial generosity for the next generation. But how can we also model generosity in a way that kids can see it and know that it matters and get involved. Let's look at some money-free ways to practice generosity. One, write a positive review. Online reviews are important to local businesses trying to get their name out there to potential customers. You can support and invest in a local business for the low cost of three kind sentences and a five-star review. Two, offer your expertise. What are you great at? Don't be shy. We're all great at something. How could you share your piano skills, workout plans, or marketing expertise with a friend or an organization in your community to help them thrive? Three, find a cause you believe in and host a fundraiser. So this one is more technically about money, but generosity isn't just about giving away your money. What organization could you host an online fundraiser for or sell some baked goods in your neighborhood to support? Four, volunteer your time. You may not have the time to commit volunteering daily or weekly, but very few nonprofit, animal shelters, or food banks would reject a group of one day volunteers who can help organize or clean their facilities. Five, compliment someone every day. A kind word is free, but you can't overstate its value to someone who's been having a rough day. This is not an exhaustive list, but hopefully it can get you started to spark your creativity as you talk about putting generosity into practice this month with your kids.